Good morning, good afternoon, good day, good night, and wherever you are in the world, welcome to the Land Show! I sort of got it right. <laughs> Maybe. I got it as right as I've ever got it. <laughs> no, you got it perfect once. Ah, that's true, that's true. Once I, you got it absolutely perfect, I was, it. I was sitting there practicing it beforehand, though. This was just <laughs> off the bat, so... Yes! Hello, welcome everybody. And for those. Oh, wait, no, no, I meant to be doing your intro if you're stealing mine. Oh, yes, go on. Hello and welcome everybody. That, that's your <laughs> intro, isn't it? <laughs> that, 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 that's it. Hello and welcome everybody. I, I tend to say hello, internet, but uh, that's because I like to steal from other YouTubers. <laughs> hello, internet, and people who accidentally got redirected here from Pornhub. Indeed, for some bizarre reason. It's, uh... I might have nothing to do with that. <laughs> but yes, despite uh, popular belief and against all rumours, Zippy X Falcon is fine! He's alive! <laughs> he did not wind up in a ditch last week when I was starting the show. <laughs> it's been a while since I ended up in a ditch. Yes! I remember some of those stories. <laughs> One of them was after we were out drinking. <laughs> Most of them are after <laughs> after drinking or during drinking. Yeah, I just remember this one where we were drinking at I think Seclo One Hundred outside, and um, it was really it was a really nice day. We, we were probably drinking till quite late, um, and then you decided oh, to walk home. Uh, but I think you went in the wrong direction. I think you ended up in a car park. You fell over something. There was some... can, I, can I just point out right uh, uh, for those who don't know the area, Seclo is in the town centre, mm -hmm. and the town centre is literally surrounded by car parks, so just to give me a point there, right, it wasn't hard to find a car park. Yeah, but I think you ended up in a car park behind a train station, which has car parks. That's the right but... way home. <laughs> <laughs> but you never made it home. You ran up in a ditch. I, I think you said that you ended up, uh, I don't know if you had a fight with somebody, or if you just like had a chat with someone. <laughs> Which both could have been just as likely. <laughs> <laughs> With the same person. With the same person. <laughs> and, um, yeah, this, 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 my, uh, the story was way funnier when we knew all the details. It's been a long time. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's, um, one of, one of my favorite. not to be there to get the story. <laughs> Indeed. One of my favorite stories was when someone bet you, uh, uh basically claimed you're an alcoholic and claimed that you couldn't stop drinking, so you, uh, basically called that bluff and quit drinking. <laughs> I think it's only recently you started again, isn't it? No. I I, I only, like, after that I was like, ah, I'll casually drink. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't mean like you started drinking heavily. <laughs> it's, um... Uh, hey, Jazz! Welcome! It's been ages! Welcome to the stream. It feels like it has been so long. We're doing good. He's alive. Uh, which is how we got into the conversation of his stories of ending up in ditches. And... <laughs> <laughs> hey JB. And um yes, I knew you were drinking again because uh when we were allowed out in the before times and we ha went out for a drink for your birthday, you had a drink. <laughs> oh, that was the most alcohol I'd had in so long. It was the most alcohol I'd had in so long. And I walked home from yours that day. That was before we moved here. <laughs> in fairness, it was closer. That there was a lot closer to walk home then, yeah. It's uh <laughs> I still made a home without incidents. <laughs> not sure how, but I did it. Uh, I think Ivan was only about um, nine months old then. Yeah, he wasn't old. Um, and yes, 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 it has glad to hear you doing it. Yes, it's. Um, I am no longer plagued with like back-to-back -back illnesses, which seem to like be the last month of my life. And <laughs> and to be a uh, falcon. Yeah, yeah. Last month of your life is just constantly worrying about illnesses. Mm -hmm. And uh, not 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 last year. <laughs> and CPX Falcon is no longer distracted by his new Switch game. <laughs> you just have them at home now. I've got them everywhere. Everywhere, just. But you should have saved that for what's on your shelf. <laughs> your shelf. Just a COVID test. <laughs> Come on, everybody, let's do a live COVID test. I mean, stranger things have happened. <laughs> 
I'd be happy to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be less awkward than a live pregnancy test. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Although some of the people I work with are all cracking up when they're saying this, right? They say to the people, I think being sincere, it's like, and it's like a pregnancy test. <laughs> I'm like, except for you go like, ah, uh aha. -huh. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know that many pregnancy uh -huh. tests you stick uh -huh. in your mouth. What the? Uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. And um, so, yes. There's more context to it, but it's just, it's just how it cracks me up from my side of the wall. I think you have Warcraft on your shelf. Is that the original Warcraft? Is that uh, what? Here. Is yeah. That's the war chest for uh, Warcraft 3 with nice. uh, the, the expansion. Very nice. Very nice. I, I used to enjoy the battle chests. Yeah, the battle chests were always nice. I managed to get a Diablo 2 um, battle chest. Um, I don't think I still have it, but I got it for, I think, £20 when it was still selling for, like, 60 And it's because someone had mislabeled a copy on the desk at HMV, and they'd put a £20 sticker on it. <laughs> and so I went up and were like, yoink. <laughs> uh, somebody who worked at eBuyer screwed up. Yes. Yeah, and that was labelled at the same price as the uh, just standalone version of... <laughs> and I was like... Yeah. Well, I'll take the one with the expansion. It's the same price. Mm hmm. And they have to. Yeah. It's well, they've got two choices when they've mislabeled something and they've got something that's drastically underpriced. They, they have the choice to sell it at, uh, to you at that price because, by law, they have to sell it to you at the lowest advertised price. Or they can choose to take it and its entire range off sale for 24 hours. Most people will sell it to you at the lower price and then quickly change the price before anyone else sees it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think they even noticed because they just sold it to me as it was, and no one said anything. And I was like, "This is pretty sure that someone screwed up here." Mm -hmm. It's uh, we we used to get a lot of PC World, but we used to get it on laptops, and the managers then would opt to take the product off sale and just remove it, stick it in the back room, wait till the customer left, then bring it out and pop it back on. <laughs> and I'm just like, "Well, that's sneaky and not legal." But I see what you did there. <laughs> um, uh, there is a third one. Mm -hmm. This is one we used to do at British Home Stores. What's that? Yeah. Go in. Uh, we didn't put that label on that product. Ah, uh, yes. It's that, that, and that legit can happen, to be fair. People yeah, do go around we, switching we labels. We refused the sale, but we don't have to do the pricing thing because that label's been tampered with. We didn't do it. Mm hmm. Um, and then, and then you, you don't have to do either the price uh, thing about uh, keeping selling the price at the customer or the other thing. What I hate is when you've got a bottom shelf item somewhere like Tesco's, and you've got some quite high value items next to each other, but then you've got one that's quite cheap, and where someone slid over an entire stack in front of the cheaper price tag, but because the description for the item is so small and my eyesight is so bad, I would have to lie down to make sure what the yeah, you, you know how Tesco's and that lot get away with it? Mm -hmm. They go, well, we put the barcode numbers on the uh, shelves because that's part of the product description. Because I know all the barcode numbers? No, because the barcode numbers are on the back of the product as well. You know that, right? Yeah, but I'm not going to get down and read the barcode on the label <laughs> that I can't away. see. Well, we did put the barcode numbers, like we put the full product description and a reference <laughs> number for you to follow. <laughs> Yeah, the problem is they put it so low that you need a magnifying glass. But anyway, I digress. <laughs> See, I didn't have this witty banter last week. I missed this. I had to entertain people all by myself. The oh my God, horror. I'm sorry to you people. The horror. How Though, did you cope? I, I just went on IMDb and started reading through the bottom 100 list and started looking up trailers for it. They had, like, Claire and uh, Eva Lancey, who were here last week, had a blast with it. It's, uh, <laughs> Claire particularly enjoyed me finding one star reviews and reading them. <laughs> you know that's a job people reading random rubbish mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the strangest reviews were in fact for a film called Glitter which was a Mar Mariah Carey feature film about I've seen this film about an up and coming pop star who, who <laughs> dates a DJ who helps her find fame and fortune and then struggles to maintain her relationship when she becomes a superstar it's like Mariah Carey was already a superstar when this film came out. This is yeah, but it was like the backstory to her life. It was like you know those films when they they play their, themselves in their own film, in their own 
story. Yep. And the reviews were either one star or five star. Yep. <laughs> if you were a Mahara Carey fan, you, you gave her a five star. If you actually knew anything about other films and you weren't just a fan of Mariah Carey, you gave her a one star. And if you just wanted to see a film, you gave her a one star. Yeah. And uh, in the 20 years it's been out, it's only managed to move up a few spaces on the bottom 100 list. And I only know this because one of the reviewers <laughs> stated it doesn't deserve its place at rank, etc. in the bottom 100. <laughs> So I was like, wow, in 2002, it was in this position. In 2001, at 21, it's not much better. <laughs> Nine years of bad films and yeah. slowly getting out of there. Because you've even got some from like as recently as 2019 going, oh yeah, this film ages really well. It's like, it's not as bad as these one-star reviews said it was. Yes, yes it is. I just watched it, like I haven't seen it, but watching the trailer, I can tell it's a bad film. <laughs> yeah, but you got to remember, right? bad films over time can become good films because of the tropes of it being a bad film yes and we did actually play the trailer for one such film can you guess which film it is star wars screw you man <laughs> that's in the top 100 <laughs> i'll give you a clue it has birds in it it has birds in it. Yep. It has birds in it. I mean, not real birds. But it's got birds in it. It's a film called Birdemic. And it's about the birds attacking the humans. And it was done on literally a shoestring budget. It's the, uh, the trailer for it is sort of like a bad YouTube mock of another. Like if someone was trying to make their own trailer for a film, it's like that. But except the entire film's like that. <laughs> and what's funny is uh, one of my favorite um, YouTube channels, uh, Corridor Crew, um, who are visual effects artists. Yeah. <laughs> so choices, yeah. <laughs> they grabbed it and uh, made the effects better. But they were like, well, we can't make them too good because part of your pill is that it's so bad, it's funny. <laughs> but they actually got the original actress who was in it got her to come in and reshoot some scenes so they could give her a badass boss fight against a hoped out Arnie Eagle bird. <laughs> and it was awesome. <laughs> so, yes. Can you guess though what the worst film on IMDb is? The boss at like number one of the bottom 100. Everyone knows what my answer here is, but... You're going to say Star Wars again, and I'm going to reach through the screen and slap you in the face. <laughs> I like this when you try. Ah! See? I used to pause. <laughs> Your lack of faith is disturbing. Oh no, copyright oh. strikes. <laughs> Let me guess. Worst film of all time. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely named, I'll give you that. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't get much worse. Nope. You want me to tell you? Yeah. Disaster movie. Which one? There's been so many films called Disaster Movie. It's the one That's called great. Disaster Movie, made by the people who made Scary Movie and um, all those films. <laughs> <laughs> if you went on IMDb. That's not real. Sorry. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, what do you want to use? Rotten Tomato. Yeah. Okay. Let me bring up Rotten Smart. So, think. Do, 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 do. you know when people make this list, right? Do they think that people would not care about the big list and will go straight to what is the worst crap ever made? Yep. Rotten Tomatoes worst movies. The worst movie. Hundred worst movies of all time on Rotten Tomatoes. Okay. Let's make this nice and big as well. <laughs> that, that is actually familiar. 100 worst movies of all time. In the name of the king, a dungeon seeds tale. So, is this the. Uh, do they get lower in ranking or higher in ranking from this point? Because these are all 4%. I'm looking for 3%. Okay, okay. I was going to say, In the Name of the King does not deserve to be number one on the worst movies of all time. It's actually a decent film. <laughs> I really like it. I haven't seen this since I was a teenager, but I really liked it when I watched it. Um, it's based on the Dungeon Seeds games, and I really like Dungeon Seeds, hence a Dungeon Seeds tale. 
Although at the time, actually, it, Venice, though, it was probably a terrible film because the D and D one was. Oh my god! Oh uh, did, yes. Did every actor deny they were in that film as well. I think so. Um, yeah, it says I don't even remember disaster movies. Spoof movies aren't as good as they used to be. Yeah, they kind of just fell off the uh, wagon. They didn't do very good. The reason that why this movie was so bad, and every other movie this guy made was so bad. What's this guy here? Yule Bull. And um, he used to make movies intentionally bad because um, back in the day there was a German law that stated you only had to pay taxes on a movie if you made profit on it. So he only paid the taxes on the profits. And um, so he would get all of this money in, make a really cheap film, keep the extra money and not pay any taxes. And he did this all the time. He made the Blood Rain movies, if you've seen those. <laughs> But, uh, ah, look, yeah, see, Blood Rain. <laughs> Isn't that got Mila Vilovakovic? Uh, Kristana Lukin, the same person who did, um, the... She was terminated. You ball! <laughs> Do you know what you ball reminds me of? Mm hmm Discount Jason Statham. <laughs> <laughs> you, you mean Jason Statham, who was in one of the You Ball movies? <laughs> oh, is that Jason Statham? That is Jason Statham. He's not the actor. He's the director who made them. <laughs> oh oh my god jason statham what happened to you you like a discount jason statham like a discount jason statham so let's scroll down to the number one wait, wait blood rain did yes. you say that's got uh, michelle that... rodriguez um blood rain. i only know michelle rodriguez from two films oh it's got ben, ben kingsley he's a good actor sorry and uh, i only know michelle rodriguez from two films resident evil uh-huh and Fast and Furious. Oh yeah, it's her from Fast and Furious. <laughs> um, yes. Yep, I I don't recognise. Oh, she was in Smurfs. Um, I haven't seen pretty much anything else. Avatar. She was apparently in Avatar. Material Girls wasn't that the sequel to Mean Girls? I don't know. I don't know. Wait, let's see. Let, let's let's see what Blood the Rain. worst movie was. The oh no, worst. I won't go through this list. A oh, little okay. bit. Of I've seen that one. The Are Darkness. I've seen that one. I haven't seen that. No. I haven't I've, seen the fog. I've Speed heard the fog was two. Bad. That was terrible. So, yeah, Cruise Control, Control wasn't great. No. The Covenant Flatline. wasn't great either. Flatliners. Oh, the new Flatliners. It, it's yeah. they. They tried to uh, you know remake a classic. Zoomers. Or Zoom. Zoom. I don't know what that is. Happily, happily ever after. Seen that. Ha happily never after. <laughs> never. Codename the cleaner. Yeah, I don't know most. Oh, movie 43 I heard was terrible. Uh, I never watched it myself, but it was apparently just lots of skits put together. None of them were funny, and the actors were apparently treated really badly, and some of them were bribed to be in the movie. So, yeah, bad movie. Is the adventures of Pluto Nash on the back of Space Jam? Possibly. Um, is cr cr critics consensus. The adventures of Pluto Nash is neither adventurous nor funny, and Eddie Murphy is on autopilot in this notorious box office bomb. Synopsis. Eddie Murphy gets way, way out in this futuristic sci-fi comedy. In the year 2087, the Earth's natural resources have probably faded away or something. Uh, this is making it way too hard to read a synopsis. I'm just going back. <laughs> Vampire sucks. Well, considering where this is in the list, I don't hold a Twilight up for, for, to be very high. Um, um, well, this was made by the same people that made Disaster Movie. Because <laughs> it's a Twilight spoof. <laughs> uh, playing for Keeps. I think I've seen that one. Uh, I haven't Serving seen that one. Sarah. That's a Matthew Perry film. Seen that one. I feel like I enjoyed the Hotel Yards. Yeah, Godsend, I've seen that one. That's a really long time ago I saw that one. Godsend, I've not seen that one. Because I said so, I've seen that one. Mikkel's Navy. Mikkel's Navy, is that... That's not the film I'm thinking of, is it? It's, with... got, it's got Tim Curry in it, though, so it can't be all that bad, right? It's not the film with the martial arts guy who tends to be a cook, who turns out to be a secret CIA officer and kills everybody who's uh, after they've taken over a naval boat. I'm thinking of Steven Seagal. 
Yeah, no, he's not in this one, apparently. This is Tom Arnold and some Curry. Oh, haven't seen Arsenal. No. Nope. No. Nope. Seen the 12. Getting with Dad, no. I've not seen the majority of these. Dad. Not it getting with Dad, that's a bit weird. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Kid, even with dad. His dad not getting with him. I mean, you never know. Yes, he just like the whole 10 yards, yeah. I thought it was a decent film. The Darkness is probably a... It's got Kevin Bacon in it. I don't think Kevin Bacon's made much good in recent years. I've seen number uh, 67, The Roommate. Um, oh, hang on. You just go down way further than me. Yeah. Oh, look. Half Past Dead. I've seen that film. House of the Dead I quite enjoyed. Oh, no, that's a your bow <laughs> version. Okay, I'm thinking St. Cow, son. <laughs> You both will turn up a lot on this list. I've seen Roller Bla Rollerball. I've um, seen Battlefield Earth. Oh, God. I feel like I've I seen Rollerball, if, but... I wonder if uh, Starship Troopers 3 is on here. You know, the film that everyone denies exists. <laughs> it, Starship Troopers 3 is better than Starship Troopers 2. <laughs> hey, they're both terrible. 2 is very, very bad. Battlefield Earth, though. You know the story behind that one? Battlefield. Well, <laughs> you're trying to ask me to remember something from like, like two decades ago. Yeah, this is true. Well, John Travolta is a um, fairly renowned uh, Scientologist, and he's also a big fan of the books that were written by the guy who invented Scientology, because he was a sci-fi writer, <laughs> and so he very much liked Battlefield Earth, which was one of his books, and he really wanted to adapt it into a film, but nobody wanted to because it's bad. So John Travolta paid for it to be made himself <laughs> and ended up being bad. <laughs> you know what's really funny? Mm -hmm. The Falcon is in a film that was really bad called Crossover. Poor Falcon. The Alcon. The Alcon, the actor. Oh, he's doing better these days, though, to be fair. Mortal Kombat Annihilation. That was... That was a bad film. Bad. Peepy geniuses, that just sounds like a bad concept. Meet the Spartans was also by the same people that made Disaster Movie and uh, such things. Oh, Max Steel, that was a terrible film. Max Steel, I liked Max Steel, I'm, if I'm thinking of the right movie. Epic Movie was not epic. Disaster Movie is a bit higher on this list, it's number 45. I'm guessing you're quite far down, I haven't seen Max Steel yet. Yeah, I'm about halfway down more than you. Twisted. Uh, Highlander 2, I agree with that one. Police Academy 4 was quite bad. Look who's talking now, yes. Oh, these are 0%. Third. Okay, yeah. maybe I'm thinking of a different film. Because I'm thinking of a film with uh, Hugh Jackman in it. Um, with Mac and me. With Boxing That's Robots. Right, See, I've heard mixed things about the new Mortal Kombat film, Jez. It's, um, I've heard from a lot of people that it's actually a good movie. I've heard from some people that it's a movie with a bad story, but fun to watch, as you say there. Uh, so I'm looking forward to giving it a watch myself, and I haven't watched it yet. I've been meaning to, because it came out uh, this week. So, um, But what, am I what movie am I thinking of? Hugh Jackman punching robots. Uh, like big fighting robots that you control. Um, hmm. I feel like I had Max... In the title. Um, you know what? I can probably just Google it because I have the internet. Hugh Jackman, Hugh Jackman. fighting robots. Real still. Real, Real still. still. See, I wasn't. I was typing in Hugh Jackman and clicking search. <laughs> See, I wasn't entirely off of the still, though. Okay, so I've not seen Max still. Uh, Ransomania? Like, Max Steel is a movie based on a kid's cartoon. Oh, that's probably why it rings a bell. Okay. Messy Go Doctor winter. Rick. Guessing you're down a bit further again. Yeah, I just got past. Oh, I've her. finished. Staying alive. Look who's talking now. I liked Look Who's Talking Now. I mean, I was like a kid when I watched it. I was probably like. No, Look Who's Talking Now was always the worst one. Oh, I had the dogs. Yeah, it was the last one made. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it as a kid. Like, yay, talking dogs. Um, like, one of my favourite movies as a kid was All Dogs Go to Heaven. I enjoyed talking dogs. 
Wasn't Redline based on an anime with the same name? Probably. I remember watching Homeward Bound, but my favourite film in the 90s was Turner and Hooch. And admittedly, that was made in the 80s, but it was my favourite film in the 90s. Although my favourite film in the 90s would have been... Uh, in the noughties from the 90s would have been Starship Troopers, which I don't think was made in the 90s. Uh, Starship Troopers was. Oh, was it? I think it was cool. 97. Yes, yeah, said I would watch Mortal Kombat again. It is entertaining. Good to know. Good to know. Yours to Revenge. Yeah, sequels back then never really did well. Like, is Mortal Kombat a film you can watch drunk and still enjoy it without having a clue what's going on in the storyline? Because in fairness, that's pretty much the original Mortal Kombat. No, actually, no, the original Mortal Kombat was a film that you wouldn't enjoy drunk because it made less sense. Ballistic X versus Sever. I've I've never even heard of it. A strangely inept film, Ballistic X versus Sever, offers overblown waterfall action without a hint of wit, coherence, style, or originality. Okay, I have to look up a trailer of this movie. Open a new tab. Before you start starting the hamster dance for a second. Uh, no, I wanted to paste things. Uh, what? No, that's just a TikTok song in my head earlier. You know the one that goes do 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 Okay, you were repeating yourself. <laughs> you can stop. I have music playing in my ears and I have you singing the song. I could just mute you. <laughs> yeah, I was stuck in an endless loop. You know when you don't know when the song ends and you're just stuck in that loop? You could just stop. You could have just told me you knew the song. I don't. Then you don't watch TikTok. No, I don't. Then you should watch TikTok. I, the, only time, <laughs> the only time I spend on TikTok is when you send me a video from TikTok. Is that usually <laughs> LTT what's... ones? I think surprisingly few LTT ones, actually. Oh, uh, Madison's put a few funny ones up there. You haven't sent me any of Madison's ones. Anyway, shall we watch this? All the TikTok from LTT are Madison's. Shall we watch this trailer for Ballistic? X versus Sever trailer one. The worst movie. It's to do with like missiles or bullets or something like that. That's what I'm going for. With the name like or ballistic. A very angry person. I was gonna say somebody going ballistic, like ballistic maybe. Someone's developed a micro device. Let's turn the, the sound down a little bit. Injectable yeah, uh, I'm gonna go and double. watch it. One touch with the button, stream. You can give ahead a head of state a heart attack. Two deadly agents. They're deadly. A former FBI agent named Jeremiah They're Hicks. Dead. Sworn enemies. Jez says that uh, he watched uh, TikTok and didn't recognize it. See? See? Who will find it? I have a situation and you're my only option. This woman single handedly took out a heavily armed escort detail. Was that Lucy Lou? Yes. Was that a question? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 You just want yourself saying yes over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, my mic is picking up my uh, sound. My mic is picking up my uh, I mean, seeing that now, I think, okay, yeah, that doesn't look like a great film. Stop watching the stream, mute me. Huh? <laughs> mute me. <laughs> so, I have. Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> but yes, it, I'm watching the trailer. Because you don't share your sound when we do this. There you um, go. I put, put my mic in a different place so the sound won't get in. in I told the way. you I don't know how to share the sound. Move the damn thing. <laughs> we can talk now. I stopped. I paused the trailer. Um, but uh, yeah, like seeing that, um, like the trailer now, I, I probably wouldn't want to watch it. But in the 90s or early 2000s, if I saw this. I recognize straight off. Sorry? Straight off, I recognise some of those actors. Yeah, and the trailer so far doesn't like it looks intriguing, but there's been plenty of movies that the trailers looked good and haven't been so. Yes, that that, that was half a trailer for that. Um, Jess says you should see the loss of uh, Pasta. 
It's it is my new favourite bad movie and suggested to everyone. Um, I've never actually looked up a trailer for Philosopasta, but I've heard a lot about Philosopasta. Philosopasta, Philosopasta, Pastor. Sorry, not like Penny. Okay. No, I don't want adverts. Wow, this is a full-length advert that won't let me skip it. Well, I can do that then until the end of the advert. <laughs> okay. It's coming up to the end of the ad. Dun, dun, dun. Home. I think they followed me home. The Velocipista. A troubled priest. <laughs> hey, Evil Auntie. <laughs> I did find the missing Zippy. That's right. Hey, Evil Auntie. Drugs. Uh, murder people. <laughs> the Velocipasta. <laughs> You turn into a dinosaur and eat something. <laughs> what? Dinosaurs. What? You guys talk all the time about helping people. This might actually be the first time in your life you can. By what? Killing people? Yes! <laughs> this is what is going on. <laughs> Insane, Doug. God does not want people dead. Oh, I think God wants a lot of people dead. It's it's there's still like seconds left in the trailer. Like fifteen seconds to go. It's just gonna be fifteen seconds of a black screen. I think so. Wow. That that has me wanting to watch Philosopaster. Philosopaster. What? Alexa, stop. Amazing. Well, we've lost Zippy to Alexa. Bye, Zippy. Hi, <laughs> uh, not missing Zippy anymore. Or not missing any more Zippy, says Evil Auntie. <laughs> okay, uh, Jess, yes, you convinced me. I need to watch that movie. And I will do my best to find somewhere I can watch it. Uh, <laughs> it's... I, I wonder, like, what rating it gets on IMDb. Do 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 Velocipasta. It has a decently average rating of 5.1 out of 10 stars. That is a solid rating. <laughs> Evil Auntie says the Velocipasta is pretty much the best name for a movie ever. Yep. Yep, not gonna lie, it's amazing. And that trailer was amazing, and I love it. Uh, when Zippy gets back, now we've got a few people here when we have passed the hour. I might do a live unboxing! Because so I got a new gadget today. And I figured it'd be fun to open it with you guys. But we'll wait till Zippy gets back. In the meantime, I will sip my drink. Mmm. Refreshing. I also have my mic in a new position today, so let me know if you have any troubles hearing me. Um, it used to be coming up from beneath my monitors, but now it comes from above my monitors, uh, so I have less in the way on my desk at hand height. And so I find it a little bit easier, and when I want to move it out of the way, it's easier just to throw it behind my monitors now. Welcome back! What did you think of the Loss of Pass trailer there, Zippy? I went to ask the children, but they all turn out to be asleep at nine at night. <laughs> Sound is loud and clear. Fantastic. Thank you, Evil Auntie. Um, yeah, that looks actually hilarious, and I think I made... Evil Auntie's in the house! Oh, yes. I was saying that um, now you're all back, and we've got a... It's past nine o'clock. We've got a good 
with the crowd going on, um, it might be time to do the live unboxing of my little gadget thing. Unbox, unbox, get it out, get it out, take it out, take it out. Right, let's switch to this and let's go. Boop. Let's make this a little higher. It wasn't pre-positioned because this is now squarely in the middle of my uh, screen. So it makes it difficult for me to see you. Okay, so, unassuming Amazon box, all labels removed, so you don't know where I live. <laughs> no, I already know where you live. Damn it! <laughs> okay. Ooh, do it nice and slowly. Nice and slowly. Okay. Hang on. Just run your finger really smooth right down the spine. Oh, do you not just love each one of the... Oh, yes. <laughs> Okay, enough about freaking everybody on the internet out. Almost as good as a pill. Even more than it normally does in one working week. <laughs> okay, here we have the Xiaomi, I think, Fit 5? Smart Band 5. The Xiaomi Smart Band 5. Focus, focus. There we go. And this is to help out my diet plans and my getting fit. It's uh, going to go on my wrist and help me track my activities and help me. You need to be more active, you sloth. I was uh, about to say, I could track your activities. <laughs> your death from losing nine to nine. <laughs> Evil Aunt says, unboxing new gadgets is so satisfying. Unless they're in one of those thick plastic boxes that are impossible to open. Well, let's see how impossible to open this is. We have a tiny bit of tape. Uh, you know those ones that are vacuum sealed and melted together? Ah, yes. My not fix it kit. Did yep. There's my God, nice. you do not treat your iFixit kit with pride. It's like a complete mess in there. It is. Uh, I need to sort it out. But I got what I needed. Yeah. Remember, kids. This uh, is mine. Yeah, but yours is a much nicer with better pockets. Mine has elastic bands to hold things in place. I need yours. Mine. No, no, yours has pockets. Mine does not have pockets at all. Oh, yours like a kid's pencil case. Yeah. It's bad. So I need one of yours. If you can link me to one of yours, and I can do an unboxing of it. <laughs> okay. Remember, kids, yep. ask for help from an adult when you're using sharp objects. Or oh, adults, ask help from a kids when using the sharp objects. They go to school, so they know better than scissors safely than you do. I went to school. Okay. Yeah, but you're not up to date with the current scissor safety rules. Don't run with scissors. Don't run your hand down the blade. They, they went in the school in my day. We went to the same school. Well, not primary yeah. school, but we went to the same school. We went to school. They expected us to know how to use scissors. <laughs> okay, so let's see what we get. My biggest concern is the band size. And if it's going to be big enough, because the band size wasn't listed. And when people ask the question... How? Come on, focus, focus. There we go. Webcams, eh? Uh, when someone asked the question, "How long is the band length?" The response somebody gave was, "It's big enough to fit around a man's wrist." Cool. Thanks for that. That's not an answer. <laughs> you should respond by going, "I'm a man. Clearly, you're not." If it doesn't work. <laughs> well, it's like. Define man's wrist size because your wrist size and my wrist size are quite different. So, in the box, it's a pretty plain box. Charge cable, which. Yes. I th Get rid of the box, by the way, because cool. your box is screwing up with your focus. In here, now this isn't an ordinary charge cable, if the Amazon listing is to be believed. It's a charge cable that has a magnetically attaching head to it. Still USB on this side, but it means if you lose this, you, you can't just grab another micro USB cable. You need to probably contact Xiaomi to get a new one. Yeah, same with Fitbits. They have special ones. Propriety connectors that nobody asked for. Evil Answer says, in my day we had to learn broadsword safety. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're about the same age, Evil Auntie. And uh, I did not need to learn broad sword safety at school. Would have been no, cool, it's, though. It's Squish, you had to learn mortar safety. Claymore safety. That's a claymore, not mortar. 
Both were explosives, and then one wasn't. So, the one wasn't a sword, even. This is the device. I've got to say, right? It looks very fit, but like. Reminds me of this thing that I use every day at work. Your Pokemon Go thing? Yep, your Pokemon Go thing. <laughs> it's a very similar type band. I think the thing is the same size. I wonder if I can mod it to work as one. Doubt it. Yeah, me too. Okay, so it has a little pushing bit for the strap, which uh, just friction fits. And here's the moment of truth on whether I need to order a larger band or not. So, goes on my wrist. Are you a man? Or am I a Muppet? Am I a man? Or am I a Muppet? Okay, I think I can get it to fit. If I don't want circulation in my wrist. Okay. Uh... One way of helping you lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just lose my hand. But it goes on. I think... I will order a larger band, but it's certainly functional. But as you can see... I can see that's pinching like yeah. so hard. I mean, it doesn't hurt though. I think it's because it's soft, but you can see it's pinching. So like, I would have to definitely like leave it off at night, um, etc. But apparently... You're going to recharge it at night, aren't you? Well, the listing stated it had a really long battery life. Um, 14 days apparently, a 14 day battery life. As all day sleep tracking for those times when you have a nap during the day. I love that. All day sleep tracking, <laughs> but we don't track you at night. Motorsport, because that'd be weird. Motorsport tracking modes, a 1.1 inch color screen. Um, it is also water resistance up to 50 meters swimming stroke recognition. So I could take the swimming, which is also one of the reasons uh, I miss swimming, and I'm looking forward to being able to start that up again. So it'd be cool to have this when I go swimming. I got confused um, with you. Having this is one of the reasons I miss swimming. Taking electronics into no, the no, water. No, no, no. I, I was saying I miss swimming, but one of the reasons I got this was for swimming. Um, because I could wear it while I swim. Come on. Come on. I actually have water resistant, uh, a waterproof MP3 player that I've never got, had a chance to use because lockdown. Um, and apparently. The way you move your hand out of the way and it auto focuses on your mat quicker than it auto focuses on your finger. Crazy, right? Um, and apparently it also has a female psychological. Sorry, physiological cycle recording. So if you're a woman and you want to record your cycle, it has that too. So let's see if I can turn it on. Probably with a button in the back, I imagine. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ah, there's a little button there. So I'm guessing I hold that down. Who needs instruction manual there? See, this is the ancient pun. Men always wish women come with instructions. Women go, we will give you one, but you never bloody read it, will you? That'd be right. Because that's the heart rate monitor. That's the charging thing. Maybe it has no charge. It'd be interesting because... Maybe read the instructions where it says, plug in full cycle before <laughs> turning on. <sighs> Things normally come with a charge these days. Right. Yeah, but you meant this... to charge fully before turning them on so you get the max use out of the battery. Uh, new batteries aren't that bad. That, that's an old, old battery thing. New batteries. Um, hang on. Really tiny text in this really tiny box. I love that. At least it's a book and not one of those uh, fold out sheets. Yes, that is good. Installation. Insert for one end. Okay, so it gives you installation instructions as if it didn't come already pre fit into the band. Um, Why don't you just hold the manual to the book uh, to the camera and we can just read it to you? Yeah, that might be easier. That's how to touch, touch button. Didn't it come with a sheet that was like a quick start guide? Nope. <laughs> uh, Tells you to log into your FIS account. Usage. So it doesn't tell you how to turn it on. So I'm guessing I have to. Yeah, charge it oh, first. Yeah, I'm guessing I'm going to have to charge it. Recharge your band immediately when the battery level is low. Okay, let's plug it in. <laughs> okay, so uh, do you want me to do my unboxing? Oh, you have an unboxing. Well, you, 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 you've noticed it's the lights, right? I have noticed the lights. 
Have you got something else? No, it's the lights. Oh, you got a boxes for your lights. Can you see that, Carl? Uh, hang on. Let me bring up your big screen on my other screen so I can see them properly. Key light air. It's backwards on my screen because you want it that way. Um. Oh, you got El Gato key light airs. Yeah. Two. No. Nice. I'm guessing you didn't pay full price for them. Well, considering they're like what 140, 160 each. Uh huh. Yeah. How much? So, how much did you uh, pay? 150. Okay, plug this. For both, that is good. Okay, plugging it in does turn it on. By the way, brand new inboxes, and I have the receipt, and they're still in warranty. Oh, nice. That's very good. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think I'm going to be able to play with this on stream because it came with no charge, but plugging it in turns it on immediately. And it shows the time when it is on charge. Uh, but it, it is just showing a empty battery. A YouTube channel that did unboxing, Carl. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I'll probably do another video for it later. Um, and uh, like, While, while I, you're still talking about the fact that you can't use your toy, you. does everybody want to see how bright these lights get? Brilliant. Here we go. Nah, time to blast the sun! <laughs> Give me a second. And then there's the other one. Oh, and then, and then don't forget, I have to go like this and then like this. That That's as white as I can get them. Look, Carl. That makes everything in your room look like it's in shadow. I know. And then this is as cool. Uh, this is as warm as I can make it. That That's, that makes you look older for some reason. <laughs> and for those who are wondering if these lights are so powerful that I actually set them to 6% brightness at 3,400 uh, K of warmth don't know what the warmth's actually measured in yep yeah, that's my new toys that is cool i'm wondering if i can somehow modify one of these zip ties to act as an extender you like... don't want to risk that and it goes wrong carl and you lose it sorry you don't want to do that it goes wrong and you lose it true but yeah, I should probably just look into getting a uh, proper extension strap. It's true, uh, Evil Auntie. Those lights are way too powerful. Yep. Uh, can the world really handle them? Uh, I used to have a torch. Um, I say I used to have a torch. My brother used to have a torch that we would take to talk and answer with us. Um, I think it stopped working some time ago. And it was this big and claimed that it was one million lumens. And when you turned it on, it flooded the entire field of light. And if you pointed it at somebody across the field, they would melt. <laughs> it's a uh, joke aside. The uh, we we pointed at somebody who was uh, probably as far away from us as um, if I was standing at the front of my house and they were at the back of my garden, so quite a distance away, uh, like back of my back garden. You could say three hundred meters. Sure, about 300 meters. Um, and they're like, geez, I can feel the heat of that from here. <laughs> and this was at night in a field. <laughs> um, that, that was great. It's heavy, though. Like, big handle to hold it type heavy. Um, the handle's for the battery. <laughs> and you, uh, it used, like, a, a big bulb as well. And modern lights are way more efficient. It's like, um, I've had an LED light that's probably lit up as much area, and it was this big. <laughs> In total, like, torch size. <laughs> um, 
So yes, torches have become more efficient, hence why yours, which probably don't use that much energy, could burn your retina out. <laughs> well, I wait. I'm keeping them at six. Yes. Which we were debating earlier whether or not six was too bright. Uh, this is true. We were debating that. I realised I nearly put my new device inside of my drink, which would have been fine because it's water resistance. <laughs> not when it's charging. It, it's in fairness the. Uh, and also, don't forget that connects back into your computer. It's not putting out enough wattage to damage my computer. <laughs> you can blow up a computer through the USB port. You can blow up a computer using um, static electricity from your hands. To be fair, so. Yeah, yeah, but that's inside the computer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a front news, people. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm not going to test it. I'm not going to test it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I won't be doing that. So, I think we've reached that time of the night where we look into what free games are available this week. Indeed. Especially as oh, we only got, what? How long do we go on for? Is we go to hour? 10. Yeah, we go to 10. So, we've got still 40 minutes left. Unless you're feeling tired, and then we can stop. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know how good this game is that I I, I, I I added it to my list. Oh, by the way, did he tell anyone about Horizon Zero Dawn? I posted on my Facebook. It's still free. So tell them, huh? In words, no speech. Well, I forgot last week we didn't do the free game segment. So, for those that have a PlayStation Four and would like Horizon. Zero Dawn Complete Edition for free. Go get it now. It's free. It's not See? Complete Edition. Yes, it is. Is it? Yeah. Awesome. Complete edition. That yep. means it comes with the um, DLC the expansion. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. For free. Go get it. It's um, it's. They don't make it easy to find on the PlayStation Store. <laughs> it's from your PlayStation. It's you got to go to it, and then you got to like go to. It's not in the free game sections. You've got to oh, find yeah, a separate don't, section. Don't, don't do the convoluted way. Don't do the convoluted way. With the way up, when you just go to the PlayStation Store and type in Horizon Zero Dawn, and then just add the free version to your library. Well, it's also in. Uh, well, the thing is, if you go to the Play at Home section, it also has the other free games like Subnautica. Yeah, but they keep a move in it. Yes. But if you can find it, you can find the other free games like Subnautica. And Subnautica is worth owning. <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially as the expansions are coming out. The expansion, the sequel's coming out. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Really looking it's, forward to that. It's the same planet, but I think they've sent more people to it. And then it's like years after the original one. Ah, that's cool. And you're not playing the same character, because the original character you played was uh, a male. And I think this one's a female. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. It's, um, but yeah, Subnautica is probably up there with my favorite games of all time. It, it is so well done. It's, I'd probably rate like sort of like Stellaris Subnautica and sort of like the I same. Didn't like you didn't like Stellaris, but for me, it's a very good game. It's, I like uh, Bleak, uh, Star Trek Bridge oh. Commander. There is a Star Trek mod for Stellaris. Yeah, I played it, didn't like it. <laughs> uh, Evil Auntie says, I already have Horizon Zero Dawn, have had for a long while, but I know it's going to demand my attention and my brain isn't really, uh, really up to it. I have the same issue with some of these games. Uh, it's it's not so much the requiring my attention, it's the more requiring my time. And um, I know big story games need a lot of uninterrupted time. And I like to get really into the game. And I find that hard sometimes with big story games. And um, so I I do, like, I'm looking forward to playing Horizon Zero Dawn. I've heard it's a really, really good game. And it's graphically amazing. Heads up. Okay. Yeah, I enjoyed Horizon Zero Dawn. Sorry? And it kept me entertained for ages. I even tried to find all the little side quests and do all the little fun bits around it. I think I actually did everything. Yeah, I did everything. Yeah. Except for I haven't got round because, as Carl said, you need the type of time. I need the time before I can just jump into Frozen Wilds. And my time is currently split between Zelda's Link Awakening, which I think I've only got one dungeon in my head left to do. Well, and I then never played it, so. I have to play the game that I haven't got yet. Pokemon Snap 
on the Switch. And then I want to go back to Horizon Zero Dawn. At some point in the next couple of months, I will be getting a Nintendo Switch. Because I have a means to be able to get it on interest-free finance um, through AO.com. So when I pay off my fridge freezer, I plan to stick a Nintendo Switch on it. Because I've been after one for so long. And Deanna wants to play Mario Kart. And we could plug in the Wii and play the old Mario Kart. But we're not getting a new console and play the new Mario Kart. Whichever Switch you do, what, uh, when you get a Switch, don't get the light. No, 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 yeah. I want to get the one for, like, detachable controllers so we can play two-player without having to buy extra things. No, no. Plug into a PC. You can buy a new one for when one of them goes faulty. Yes, and the ability to connect it to a dock and play on a TV with the family, which is the selling Although point. Although it's enough, uh, probably by, what, September, October, we, they would have actually, uh, by October, they'll probably launch the new Switch if there's going to be one this year. So imagine by August, September, will they announce it, where it means the new, old prices will drop again. True, but I don't want to wait that long. <laughs> anyway, the free game. <laughs> so, on Epic this week, the free game is Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms. I don't know anything about this game. Never do I. It sounds like an idle game. It sounds uh, like a Forgotten Realms game. It sounds like it could be both. Where's Where's the mute button? It looks like it's Forgotten Realms. Why can't I unmute this? No, that's not what I wanted to do. By the way, Forgotten Realms is a D and D thing. White. Yep. Like a like a like a white grease paint over his face, so that he looks like a. Th this skeleton. includes a lot of. Think he was undead at first glance. But oh actually, God, is. no! Spurt the cobalt. I'm not even sure I want to add it to my library. As the guide add it to my library because I I always add it to my library. A big giant cave that had two <laughs> fire giants. Doesn't mean I want he to play bag them. Of bees at one of them. And it did what you would expect a bag of bees to do. It just flopped, flopped down in this little... And then... I don't want a trailer of the developers just talking about developing the game. I want to see what the game is! You but, did. Yeah, <laughs> that, that, that's it. That, that's all there is to the game. It's just, we're a free Flash game that we're actually making you pay for outside of this week. <laughs> because Forgotten Realms... <laughs> It's they they charge so much for their content, so that's free. Um, on by the way, our opinion does not mean it's your opinion. Just remember this. This is true. Um, what's itch? What's what? Itch. Like a scratch. <laughs> There's a game called Rusty Lake Hotel that's apparently free, and if you like on here, it shows the platformers itch. Or I, I T C H. Uh, where did it go? It is. Can I make this bigger? I can. Welcome to Rusty. Yeah, I've never heard of the platform itch. But I want to see if the game's worth putting any time into finding out. It's got a nice creepy vibe to it already. Uh, Evil Auntie says, wait, does Epic have different free games for different areas? Because for me, it was they Alien Isolation no today. To... Time. Yes. The free games change at 4 p.m. on a Thursday every week. Because that is 8 a.m. in the morning in California. No. Yeah, it's about, it's about 8 a.m. in California, so uh, which is probably where they're based. Uh, so... 4 p.m. for us on a Thursday, it becomes um, the new game. Um, no, not midnight. No, yeah, it's. I mean, it'll be changed by midnight if you wait till midnight. But that's why we do the updates now because uh, it's changed by now. Um, so this is now the start of the week for the free game on Epic. So this looks like Cross oh, Lake Itch is its own. It's just that website. Okay, so it's just this, probably the developer is giving it away. Download or claim. On sale, 100% off from the 199 that it would normally be. 
So it doesn't add to any platform, it's just an independent game. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with that. Hey look, I see you on this. So uh, i got to say, the Opera browser, the gaming browser, is good just for this. <laughs> it's the only thing I use it for. <laughs> I mean, I use it for the um, social media stuff, but you get that in the standard Opera browser. I also prefer the theme of the gaming version. It looks nicer, in my opinion. Um, these games have been free for some time now. Cr Crusader Kings 2 is free to play. The yeah, Crusader Kings 2 is any when it was good as Crusader Kings 3, and I hear it is. I would recommend nabbing that. It's been free to play now for a while, so I'm assuming it's just now a free game on Steam. Um, so, yeah, grab it. Uh, it's.io. Um, maybe, Volante? Maybe. Uh, Beneath is still Sky. That rings about. Didn't we look into that a couple of weeks ago as well? I think that's been free for a while. Yeah. Um, these are the other three games currently free on PlayStation Play at Home. Odd World, so, uh, so Storm. Uh, oh no, this is free with PS Plus. I am sorry. So P PS Plus isn't actually free. PS Plus you have to pay a monthly or yearly subscription for. And they give you a set of free games on a monthly basis. But as soon as you stop paying, you lose access to all of the free games that they gave you. More importantly, Pokemon Snap launches tomorrow. Cool. I mean, for you. It's just a cut. Is it a new version of the going around taking pictures? Scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. Ah. For some reason, you seem to be going down when I said well, up. Well, that's as up as I can go. Oh, sorry. I was looking at your stream, not this. Yeah, look, click there. Uh, yeah, sure, fine. Yeah, this is basically an updated version of the one that was on the uh, GameCube. Yeah, it's technically the sequel. Well, let's watch the trailer. <laughs> Gotta say, welcome to the worlds of new. Personally, mayor about this. This is the lens. Basically, region. you remember how old school rail cart shooters used to work? Yes. It's the same thing with a Across camera, desert, but you can make weird things happen with other items. Sea, to yeah. In their natural habitats. I'm not massively interested in it. And of but course, I can see why people would be. Alone. Lots of people love Pokemon Snap in the day. Who's doing research in the Lentil region, and research team members Rita and Phil are there to support you. So you're in good No, I, su I support more 3D now Pokemon. Now, let's get that just in general. Started. Because Pokemon, there has been becoming more 3D, and we've had the 3D entries now. Had lived in the flat 2D realm for way too long. There were 3D on the 3DS. 3D. Well, there were 3D models. Yeah. I get what you're saying. But. It's Tyranitar. They found. There were 720p 3D models on a console that. Didn't even output Here's at 320. At Why isn't there? Let's try playing a melody. Oh, people get the idea. Why isn't there a PC-based MMO or Switch-based MMO Pokemon game? Now I get so, you. You can play with Nintendo. Your... Yeah, it's like imagine. Why is there a PC-based authorized Nintendo game for anything? Nintendo does. I did change my wording to Switch. So. A Switch-based MMO Pokemon game. Why isn't there a Switch-based MMO uh, Zelda game? Zelda doesn't need to be MMO. That, that's see, Zelda's like Elder Scrolls, Mario. and Mario's kind of like well, Mario's more like Sonic. But yes, Zelda's more like the Elder Scrolls. It exists in a self-contained open world that you play yourself in. But Pokemon's by design meant to be played with friends, and like, the idea of being able to uh, walk around a big open world where there's other Pokemon trainers and all of the other trainers are players uh, and you can challenge them to duels and throw the balls out. And... Yeah, Nintendo don't want that. Sorry? Nintendo don't want that. That's a nightmare for Nintendo. It would sound great, though. And the... Um, yeah, because they want a lot... It sounds great as an adult. It sounds terrible as a parent. And that's what Nintendo are thinking of, that parents will think it sounds terrible and not buy the game for their kids. But in Splatoon, you can walk around and talk to people. 
They just limit it based on uh, drawings. You actually have to have a separate device that's not made by Nintendo to be able to talk to people in Splatoon. You, you can use the chat box things. I've seen it. I've seen Alex do it. Yeah, but to actually talk to people... He just did it on Switch. Didn't you, use a separate you know, device. By the way, the Switch, by the I way... I don't mean has talk no, to people. Yeah, Switch has no good way of interacting with other people. <laughs> Yeah, like you don't need to like physically talk to them. It doesn't even need to be a chat function, but you can challenge them to George. You can be up to them and have like set responses in much the same way all online yeah. Pokemon games do, or all online Nintendo games do. Yeah, but most of them don't actually involve actual chat features for ones that are like. Well, that's what I mean. Not a chat room, like set responses, because you wouldn't need to chat. No, you get set responses. You're not listening to me though. So you, you'd have the online features, and the, the main interactions would be Pokemon battles. And then you would take control of the Pokemon with the Joy-Cons. So you'd, like, dock and dive and use the attacks. It wouldn't just be waiting uh, turn-based. Well, what Nintendo ever want to do. But I've been wanting that for Pokemon since I was a kid. Then why don't you just play Pokemon online? What? Pokemon online? Yes, it's 2D. Well, yeah, no, no. I want 3D. No, no. I want 3D Pokemon. I, I basically, I saw um, Pokemon. Wait, you want a 3D Pokemon game? Oh, which I... involves walking around, catching Pokemon, where you get to see other trainers, and you can walk up to them, battle them, trade with them, or talk but, to them. But take control of the Pokemon. That's the important part. Our voice is just a Pokemon game. Take the turn baseness out of it. Make it so that oh, it's wait. a live battle. Where you're just constantly just throwing things at each other, yeah? You're ducking and diving. And you, yes, you got got set to buttons and stuff. Diving, pretty much you described Pokemon Go. Well, no. Pokemon Go was a step towards that right direction, but you only have one move and then a power-up move. I mean, like, you can have a move set to each button, and so you can... And maybe they've got timers based on how often you, you can use them. Much, and Nintendo's never going to give this to you. No, they're never going to give it to you. realistic at all they're, in this dream. Oh, I know. I know. They're never going to develop it. Because they don't need to. All they need to do... Nintendo. I'm surprised they even still make Pokemon games. Because Pokemon games don't even make the money as much as uh, the mobile games. Well, keep in mind, it's the Pokemon company making Pokemon games. <laughs> yeah, but it's Nintendo who... Uh... Nintendo acts as a publisher, Owns but Pokemon company. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. How much it's money? Does but Pokemon... Pokemon Go makes uh, is, uh, I think six percent of the total income of the Pokemon companies in history. What's more than any series of games? Um, maybe. The 25 highest grossing media franchises of all time. Pokemon is the highest uh, grossing media franchise of all time. Um, would say make over 40, uh, sorry, over 60 billion of that is from merchandise. Yep. Like about roughly 60% of what they make merchandise, which doesn't surprise me. Then the next chunk is like, do they? Uh, break down Pokemon Go into this. I think they just grew Pokemon Go into. Um... There we go. That's better. There are Pokemon museums. How much does the comics and manga makes about as much as box office and home entertainment? TV revenue is not even on here. TV revenue makes nothing. Trading cards is a big chunk. Uh, before locked out, uh, in March 2019, there was 1 billion Pokemon Go users. The lifetime revenue as of October mm -hmm. 2019 was 3 billion. Okay. The Pokemon franchise as a whole has made 92 billion, so that's a good chunk of that amount. Oh, well, you got to remember these numbers are like uh, years out. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So this is for, like, the big meetup events. Uh... I'm not doubting Pokemon Go makes a lot of money, but keep in mind, a lot of that revenue goes to Niantic, not... Um, mm. no, because this was, this was a big mistake that people made. When it was launched, Nintendo stocks went 
whoop, because they're like, wow, this game's amazing, it's exploding. And then they're like, you know Niantic makes the like the lion's share of the money from this, right? And Nintendo shares went, <laughs> Well, it's stupid, because Nintendo shares went up, and it's like, mm, it's one of the Pokemon company shares should be moving, not Niantic. And I think Niantic gets paid to make the game at a fixed amount, but doesn't get paid per the amount of money that it makes. So if it, Niantic, if it, if the game only makes a hundred thousand or one billion in a year, I think Niantic get paid the same amount. Let's have a look. Uh, uh, business of apps statistics for Pokemon Go. Super useful thing to be reading about. No thanks. I don't want notifications. Oh, come on, go away. I just want to break down what Niantic makes versus what Nintendo makes. Is that so hard? Yes, it's probably a secret document. Quite possibly. <laughs> this is a super... Um, okay, this is not interesting for anybody, so I'm going to stop looking this up. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I get really deep in statistics. Uh, Evil Artist says, so they have to keep making more Pokemon games so they can sell more merch. Yes, exactly. And, and making more Pokemon. But the problem is, mate, they, they don't want the Pokemon... They're trying to move away from Pokemon only being made in Pokemon main series games now. So now Pokemon are being made out of the main series. That's annoying. And DLC. I was going to say, as long as they get introduced into the main games. Like, I, saw, I haven't played the games properly for a couple of decades. But um, when I did, I really wanted to have them all. <laughs> and Ivan says, oh no, Rez, you tried to find Forbidden Knowledge. Nintendo is sending assassins to deal with you now. No, Nintendo assassins, stay away! Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Oh, well, I mean, that, like the free game segment, ate up about half an hour of our time <laughs> with uh, just uh, tangents. So we did well there. Um, but yeah, I... I I'm never going to get what I want from Pokemon. They're always no, the going to get his Pokemon online. They're, they're going to continuously make Pokemon games forever. Like, Pokemon will outlive the both of us. By far. <laughs> and people will forget where it came from. It'll be one of these franchises like Disney, where, uh, <laughs> like, people, people know the beginning of, uh, like, Mickey Mouse and stuff. But kids probably don't. And a lot of that. Sorry? Mine do. That's because you got well-educated kids, um, yeah, uh, and a lot of adults probably. Don't know. Is, um, you know, Mario on the boat thing. Uh, Steamboat Willie, yes. Andy, <whistles> um, that's all I'm going to do because I get copyright striked, and Disney will come crashing from my windows. And <laughs> <laughs> um, in fairness, Nintendo have started putting a clip of that animation at the start of their films, so it's a bit more known these days than it used to be. It's also on. Uh... Disney Plus has literally got... Uh, Disney Plus, by the way, is getting a really good library. Disney Plus is getting a really good library. And um, I like the fact that with my new Roku stick, I can uh, do a search in the main area. And if it's on Disney Plus, it will tell me. Like, um, Deanna fancied watching 10 Things I Hate About You the other night. And we're like, I wonder what platform it's on. Let's have a look. Um, because normally, when I was using the PlayStation 4... Um, I, I would just search through the things and trying to do a Google search for where is this thing available brings up wildly inaccurate information. Um, well, accurate, just not accurate now or not accurate in this country. Exactly. Or not accurate now in this country. <laughs> wildly unhelpful information. Um, so using the Roku stick, you can just use their search functions and it searches through all of the available apps to see if the film's available, like where it exists. I'm like, it's on Disney Plus, great. <laughs> uh, Evil Auntie says, um, they're dressed as Mario. Um, oh, the assassins. <laughs> hey, it's a me. I'm going to kill you. 
That was the worst. Yeah, Mario. Here, have one of my mushrooms. <laughs> Is this an assassination, or are we getting high? <laughs> And uh, even asked Yosa says, Steamboat Willie just makes me think about Bendy and the Ink Machine nowadays. Now, that is a game I have been meaning to play. That does definitely have creepy vibes. I watched a bit of um, Map Out on Game Theory Live playing it, and it looked very interesting. I didn't want to watch too much because it's a game I do want to play at some point. And I think episode way, one's free. Hmm? Thinking about Matt, hmm. are you subscribed to all four of his channels? Of course I am. <laughs> That's a lie. He only has three. He hasn't decided what the fourth one is. Not actually true. Game Fury, Game Fury Live, Food Fury, and Film Fury. What channels? Isn't Game Fury Live just Game Fury just on? It's a separate channel. Is it? Oh. It is. See, if you were a real Game Fury fan, you would know. <laughs> I, I don't tend to watch live people. <laughs> I prefer it's... after they die. You're dark. Uh, <laughs> what? The TV channels just highlight all their best content, so you don't have to watch all the crap. <laughs> hey, all of Matt Pat's content is gold. I won't hear it otherwise. Not true. I've watched Matt Pat for many years. <laughs> yeah. uh, there was the dark times. Have you seen that he's remastered his first theory? Yeah. It was awesome. It's because it's his 10 year anniversary, isn't it? It is, yes. And he did a 10 year studio tour. St studio tour. <laughs> Um, and uh, I, I love that um, I just love the theme tune the Game Theory theme tune for me is like so cool and I have it on Beat Saber so I can dance to it and I love that he actually that was the first TikTok I saw was Matt Pat playing Beat Saber to his own theme tune and failing on the last note <laughs> <laughs> that theme tune is a lot easier than uh, Linus's one uh, true. I need to download Lines as one and give that one a go. Uh, Evil Auntie says, The finished version of Disney Plus has a pretty meager selection, by the way. GT Live is great. Hashtag not sponsored, ExpressVPN. <laughs> it, it, it's, uh, you can use ExpressVPN to basically pretend you're in a different country and you can pretend you're in the UK and get our... So this is not guaranteed, and most of the IPs do get blocked off after a while, so it doesn't actually work constantly all the time. I have not, well, for Netflix, I've not had a single issue with it in about... Oh, I've noticed it. Well, they also add new IPs. It's They're really good at keeping themselves up to date. Um, or, if you want to go with LTT suggestion, NordVPN. It's really annoying because LTT suggested ExpressVPN. I got it, and then they started recommending NordVPN instead. <laughs> no, they don't. LTT uh, only suggests PIA, and before PIA, it was TunnelBear. Oh, there it is, Tunnel Bear, yeah. Sorry, and uh, PIA. Um, I could have sworn they'd done NordVPN. Nope. Where did I get ExpressVPN recommended? Maybe it that was on... J's Two Cents. Might it be J's Two Cents. Might be J's Two Cents. Everyone else now recommends NordVPN. Uh, but I yeah, use ExpressVPN, and it works fine. People recommend it don't actually know anything about computers, though. Sorry? Most people who recommend it don't know anything about computers. Yeah, whereas ExpressVPN's uh, great. And uh, one of my friends was using it before me as well, so... I had at least real life knowledge of how it works. Um, yeah, I've got NordVPN, but I think it's because I got like some sort of stupid deal. Yeah, I missed out on getting a deal, so I'm just paying flat rate. But most of the deals, to be fair, on buying the yearly version, like buy a year's worth for this price, I'm just like, nah, I'll just pay the monthly. Cheers, thanks. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's. Um, Let's me watch Supernatural uh, from the American Netflix, which is 99% of the reason why I have it. And once I finish Supernatural, I'll probably cancel my subscription. <laughs> um, but yes, GT Live is great. I do enjoy it. Um, and I did get to um, get a clap and a half once on my first time going on, which is great. Uh, Even like says, don't VPNs only work on PC, though. I watch streaming services on my phone these days because I'm stuck in my bed most of the time. That is fair and understandable. Express you VPNs do work off your phone as well. Indeed, and on tablets. You take it to Wi-Fi. If you try and do it not on the Wi-Fi, it gets a bit weird. Mm -hmm. Come on. You just Maybe. showed everyone whiteness. Yeah, it's loading. You turn down your screen brightness. Yeah. I was hope hoping it would just focus. Yeah, it's still really yeah, yeah, yeah. bright. There we go. 
See, that's ExpressVPN on my phone. Uh, what they do is they um, send you a link to your email that you can use to log in. And then you can be like, I want to download it from this. And so you go to it and uh, it takes you to the store, which then logs you, uh, downloads it and logs you into your account. Um, and I think you can have five or six devices with ExpressVPN. Um, it technically can be done on consoles as well, but it's a bit of a workaround. You need to... Um, Install it onto your router, uh, which I haven't done. Mostly yeah, because... If you install it on the router, it affects the entire house. Mm -hmm. um, you can apparently also use Windows to set up a proxy router um, for consoles, but I, I just... If I'm doing it, I'll be watching it on my PC or my tablet or my phone, and it works fine. Um, also, on consoles, it can get you banned. Um, only if they figure it out. And it depends what you're doing. Like, if you're just using Netflix... Oh, no, no. I mean for um, playing games. Oh, online. yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful. Or actually, that. it can get you banned if from the uh, console store if you try and buy stuff from another country. Yeah. Um, although on um, PlayStation 4, you can just make an American account and browse the American store. You don't even need a VPN for it. I know this because I bought... Um, When I was in America for Christmas, my in-laws got me the American version of Star Wars Battlefront. And because the PlayStation 4 is not region locked, so you can play games from any country. However, you acquire a US account to install the game. And so I had to create a US profile <laughs> To download the game and you can still play with people in the eu on it because i was playing with my mates but it was a palaver <laughs> and it's the only reason i have that american account was to play that and the game's not even that good <laughs> so uh evil Aunt says i did finally watch one division and falcon and the winter soldier yay and we have loki coming out soon is it out tomorrow or is it out next week when's loki coming out falcon and the winter soldier finished yet yes yeah just awesome. just finished it is good, and that's all I'm going to say. Yeah, Which... I wait until the shows are finished. So you can binge watch them. Yep. That and is... I know it's a little, in, in, little nice little bits that they do in between. I did um... have to explain about um, the uh, bead guy to Joe, who didn't understand why that actor was chosen as a speed guy. Oh, um, be very delusional here for P P Peter Evans or Evan yeah. Evan Peters. Evan Peters, yes. Um, Ivalanti, I'm so hyped for Loki. It's coming out in June. You're right. It's the 11th of June. I thought it was a bit sooner than that, so we still have to sit through May with no Loki. Sad times, but yes, I am very hyped for um, Loki. It looks very good. Uh, Tom um, Hiddleston, Hiddleston, yeah, whatever. Loki, good. Good. and um, the trailer for it just looks awesome and just like it's going to be great we, we haven't had any hydrations I'm going to drink <laughs> oh, I've been. I, I've already finished my over pint of water uh, excellent <laughs> thank you <Evil> Lance. <laughs> I will hydrate again for you uh but you missed last week's to be a um, eleven year oh no like eleven years older version of me. It's because we were doing the uh, worst list and Dragon Ball Evolution came up. I've actually done a review for my brother's Tokonatsu channel <laughs> for Dragon Ball Evolution, and um, we went and watched it, and it was awful. It was so bad. <laughs> I had medium length hair. And it was just the worst. Uh, Jess says, I haven't seen the trailer for Loki yet. That sounds cool. And Evil Eye says, I'm uh, so used to someone else redeeming hydrates. I know, right? Let's pull up the uh, trailer for Loki. Shink. Trailer. Wink. Wink. You're trying to give yourself an even moustache. 
<laughs> the timekeepers have built quite the circus. And I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection. Big metaphor guy. I love it. I love they got Owen Wilson for this. I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. Loki, my beloved Chaos Gremlin, says Evil Auntie. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. This is absurd. <laughs> I love his dot matrix printer. <laughs> we protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Do I get a weapon? Low key perspective. <laughs> believe in this Loki variant. Luckily, he believes in himself enough for the both of us. Hmm. Why? It is adorable that you think you could possibly manipulate me. I'm ten steps ahead of you. You're not big on trust, are you? You can trust me. Loki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 <laughs> times. <laughs> you know what? Again? Scott Wilson looks like he's dressed to play another character that's already been in the MCU. Owen Wilson. Um, Owen. Maybe? That looks good, though. That looks Who's so that good. character from Ant-Man? Um... You mean uh, the guy who plays Ant Man, or do you mean um, the guy who invented suits? And uh, yes, yes, it looks amazing. <laughs> Mega hype. Because you've got to be more uh, precise on who you mean. Um, It's, uh, I think it's one of the Chris's who plays Ant Man. No, not Ant Man himself. Hmm. What Chris is in the franchise? Um, you mean. Oh, it's uh, Tony Stark's dad. Oh, yeah, that's not even in Ant Man. <laughs> no, it is. Tony Stark's dad's in Ant Man. So he's Peggy Carter. I'm... Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, they do a flashback, yeah. To when they're making the suit, so they're on the same team. Uh, Owen Wilson plays Mobius and Mobius. Uh, no, <laughs> uh, it's Jared Leto playing uh, Mobius. I'm pretty sure. But that's bringing us to the end of our stream. It is that time of night. So let's see who's running online tonight and see if we can drop them a nice little surprise of us. Um. We got Matt Blair playing God of War 3. Javier's just chatting. Let's throw you guys a Javier. So, yeah. Um, oh, no, it's a different character. Oh, okay. Um, and I'm not 100% sure who um, Owen was playing. I'm not that familiar with that part of the comics or any of the comics because I don't read them. Uh, <laughs> but I should. Um, so, yes, let's go see Javier. Uh, thank you all for uh, joining us today. It has, as always, been awesome. And having you back, Zippy, has been great. It means I haven't had to ramble to myself for an hour and a half. <laughs> well, welcome. And remember, guys, stay hydrated. Peace. Still got seven seconds. <laughs> and we're going over now. We're going to say the visionary sent you. Bye. Shink. Shink. Oh, I'm just gonna do this. I've got to do this before we go in. Oh, hey! Getting raided! All what good? up, Rizzle Vision? How's All it going? All good.